custom crafting recipes are always useful. Rather, if you want to add a long wanted crafting recipe to Minecraft, or you just want to make the game easier by adding a hard to find item with a crafting recipe. Hello, guys, welcome back to another video, and in this video, I will show you how you can make your own little crafting recipes. So to create your data pack and your custom crafting, you use will use this online generator. It's the easiest way. So the link to this is in the description. Just click on it and it will lead you to this website. We ignore all of the ads and now here we have a bunch of options. Crafting, smelting, blasting, campfire, smoking, stone cutter, smithing table. But let's first just focus on the crafting grid right here. So at first we can have we have all of the items right here. Every vanilla item. We can also search right here. So let's make an elytra. So we search for elytra. There we have elytra. And this should be our output item. So we just do a little left click here, drag and drop it into this output field of the crafting grid. Now we want to make it using some phantom membrane. So we can type in mem membrane and we will drag this to the position we want and we will use symmetrical crafting recipes. We have to drag every single phantom membrane into the correct position. Let's also take some sticks and put them in the middle. Uh, Elytra is magical, so let's use some amethysts, some amethyst charts here and here. And for this last piece, let's use an iron ingot. So now we have our crafting recipe set up, and we select our version for me, it's 1.17. So these options here are, this doesn't matter if you fill out the entire crafting grid with any items. So let's, let me show you some examples for crafting where you use shapeless, crafting where you use 2x2 two two grid, and crafting where you use exactly where placed or, if, or not exactly where placed. So we can use shapeless if we want it for, maybe let's grab a stick, 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 let's grab a stick and a blaze powder, blaze, blaze, oh, blaze and a blaze powder and we want this to get ourselves a blaze rod. Now if we tick shapeless, it doesn't matter where you place any of these items, it will always create a blaze rod. So this can cause an issue if you use maybe two sticks and one iron ingot and you select shapeless and it should craft another item. It could get in the way with the iron shovel crafting recipe. So keep in mind, keep this in mind. So for the 2x2 two two grid, it just says if you can also use the 2x2 two two grid to craft it, if you have anything that only uses 2x2 two two of this crafting. So let's say if you make a diamond ore craftable by using stone. And some diamonds. Just like this, and we take 2x2 two two grid. It will be also possible in the 2x2 two two grid in your survival inventory. So for exactly where place we're using just the example of a dripstone block is worth, I don't know, 9 dripstone. So if you now click exactly where place, the dripstone block would have to be right in this spot. And if you've not ticked this, it could be anywhere. 
in the crafting. If you use more items, let me just take a button. So this makes nine dripstone, and you tick, and you don't have this ticked. It will still have to be the constellation of these. So you, you wouldn't get nine if you place like this, but you would get nine if you place like this, or like this, or like this. So once we have everything set up, we selected our version, set all of these options, we finished crafting recipe, we have only one thing left to do is changing this output recipe if needed. Group is not really necessary because it just just it will be the group that shows in the crafting recipe book in the crafting grid, but it's not that important, so we just leave it out. This is basically just the file name, but you could change this later, but let's just change it right here. It's not that important if you have only one data pack with one recipe on your world, but if you want to add multiple recipes, you will need to change this name to maybe Elytra underscore crafting, like this. And we, you will know what it is. So now let's just click on download data pack because it's the first recipe and it should download in your downloads folder. So let's open this quickly. Here it is. We have data pack. Let's just close this and put it on our desktop for a second. So you can see you can rename it to I don't know tutorial. Ah, it just disappeared. Why did it disappear? It's on my other monitor. So if we click in here, we see we have data and pack. Let's just go into pack. And yeah, here we have the pack format. This is for this is for the version we have, and the description that will automatically show. I don't know where. So let's open this, and let's just write something else. Made by Magic Jake. Block craft and now let's save it. Pack on our desktop. Uh, there we have it. Pack. Let's just drag that in there, and I want to. Now, if we open this. Hello. Open. We see it's made by Magic Lockcraft right now. We can now delete this. In data, we have crafting and recipes, and here we have all of our recipes. The moment is just one, but we, you could add more. So let me show you what you have to do if you want to add another crafting recipe. So, for example. So let's take the example of the diamond ore again. Let's place everything we need. Some stone. We have the correct version. We take two by two grid and now let's change this to diamond underscore crafting. So now we don't hit download data pack, but we hit download JSON file. So we only get the JSON file that would be in the dart pack for usual. So let's just cut that out. Let's head into our data pack, data, crafting, recipes. Here we can just paste it. And there we have it. This should now all work fine. 
Here you can add as many uh, crafting recipes as you wish. So now let's head to the step of getting this data pack in your Minecraft world. So on your keyboard press Windows R, on the laptop maybe FN Windows R, I don't know. And if this window will open up and you have to type percent update percent. You hit OK and will take you to this folder where you have to find your Minecraft folder. Click on it, go into saves in some world. Let's just go into this one and now into this folder with data packs. You see here I don't have any data packs, so I can just simply drag and drop it in here. You can also have several data packs. I have this in I think this world, yeah, four data packs, so it really doesn't matter that much. That's everything set up. You, if you now head into Minecraft, and I will show you there what to do next. So as you can see, we're now in our the world we have put the data pack in. We just type slash reload in the chat, type enter, and now all of the data packs have reloaded. So we can grab ourselves a crafting table. Place it and now get all of the materials we need to craft our elytra, including amethyst, iron, sticks, and phantom membranes. Now, as you can see, if we place all of the items like we decided to place them in our crafting recipe, it actually creates an elytra you can put in your Offhand, it's not a ghost item. You can also wear it. See, I got the achievement Sky's the Limit. And we can also make the Diamond Ore recipe by just placing the items like this in the normal crafting grid. And if we go into game mode survival, and be type E, we can also craft this in our small survival inventory. So now we've reached the end of the video and I wanted to say thank you for, to all of my subscribers because we managed to double our subscribers in the last three weeks I guess. And yeah that's make that makes me really happy and I love the support you guys give me. So thank you very much and as a little present I'm uploading this video actually on Tuesday and not on Friday. So. Thank you guys and if you haven't subscribed already make sure to subscribe and also like the video if you did and send me a comment in the comment section down below if you want an explanation on how to create your own custom items with a custom crafting recipes. So that's it from me for today and I will hope to see you in the next video.